How's everybody doing today? today? Wisdom Tree, oh boy. And that music can only mean one thing. It's the King of Kings. And I'm not talking about Triple H, I'm talking about the King of Kings. Jesus Christ himself. So this game uh, defines the real meaning of Christmas. So as you can see here, this is actually the first of three games that you can actually play in the King of Kings. I think that's a camel. It might be a donkey. I don't know what the hell that thing is. And you have to uh, basically make it to the end without dying. And in order to increase your life bar, you have to actually answer trivia questions that were taken straight out of the Bible. Of course, if you're an atheist, this portion of the game may offend you because yeah, you might not know the answer to the question. And then you have a little finish screen here that has like a whole bunch of cool little sound effects. I love it. Now this is a donkey here. I love the music in the game, it's pretty awesome. However, this game is way too difficult, and I'm pretty sure an average gamer will have a very difficult time trying to play this, as you can see here. And this is Jesus in the temple. So this is another uh, platformer that you can play on this cartridge. There's a good possibility that you might have to go to confession after playing this portion of the game. Because the developers designed this level to literally screw you over, as you can see here. So you better be very prepared to say many Hail Marys after playing this level. You know, overall, out of all the Wisdom Tree games, this is probably my favorite. I actually owned this game a long time ago when I was a kid, and I still own the game today. Uh, this is actually the true meaning of Christmas. It's the King of Kings. It's Jesus. The birth of Jesus. So, on Christmas, pop the game in and play it. Enjoy it. Uh, the game is a little difficult. Uh, the first portion of the game is actually fun to play. The second... The other two games are a little bit too difficult for me, and in my opinion, they suck. But the first one is a lot more playable than the other two. So if you want to play a decent, religious platformer, this game is actually uh, probably the best one on the NES. 